Hi everyone, it's Xiaomi Leia from Tanya Crafts and um, as promised I um, am going to try today I'm taking this with my phone so I'm not sure what the, the ultimate um, images are going to look like and I'm hoping it's going to work so this was the Shady Fold album that I um, demoed the other day on my on my video and as promised here's the the craft one which we can attempt to construct so all your pieces are in the pack so that's one page there we've got the closure now i've done this before so i i kind of remember what everything is these are little um, tag tops so you can use it with your pockets for decorative purposes but I didn't use mine um, let's see what else we have here these are tags these are the little flaps and they are your pockets and this is the joiner so what we're going to need first and I'm just going to keep my notes to one side in case I forget how this whole story goes. So what we first need to do is to score all the um, all the fold lines or, or fold sorry fold all the score lines. So if you can see that these things are already scored for you, all you have to do is to fold those lines and score them nicely. Now iCraft does have a video um, constructing or putting this together um, but Forum is very fast with her with her video and I'm a bit of a slow coach so I I kind of need a little bit of extra help and I thought if I do a slower video then if you did purchase this um, this album you can actually watch the video and do it together with me so these are your two pages and they get connected like this with this connector piece here i just want to stand up quickly and see if i'm in shot um okay i need to be more there so let me just see if I can move the camera slightly slowly. We're going to have a bit of a wobble. Okay. All right. I think that's better. Bear with me. This is a learning curve. So um, I'm new to using this camera and I, I can't see the screen. I can't see what's happening on top there. So, okay. So, once you've got all this folded, we need to add some glue and I'm just going to add, yes, right, on camera the glue gets blocked. So I'm just adding some glue there and then I'm going to attach this. And what we're going to try to do is to just centralize it because it's slightly smaller than the actual than the actual page. And I'm using the Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. If you don't have that, mine is almost at an end. Then um, Tombow Multi Medium can also work. Now, the next thing is to get this aligned and um, I know you know if this is skew then your entire project is going to be skew so what I'm going to stand to do this so I can see what I'm doing on the right I'm going to use the lines on my on my my medium mat to help me align this thing quickly so I'm putting some glue down and 
for this kind of thing it's nice to use glue with a wet adhesive liquid adhesive because it gives you the opportunity to move things around a little bit if you go with skew I'm not a fan of liquid ad adhesive most of the time because it does tend to become a little bit messy but for this case it works okay there we've got that connected now so that's your base and then the next thing is this little the extra page so i'm just going to fold and screw that one And that one comes on the end here. Okay, like that. So I'm just going to, I just need to burnish it well because you want everything to lie nice and flat. Why my glue is running all out like this? Tragic. Okay. I'm going to turn my project so I can see whether I'm going straight or not. And then I'm going to burnish that. Okay. So we've got that attached as well. So we've got that. Then we need our little closure. And I'm just going to make sure all these are nicely burnished because if you crease everything really well, then you see you get a nice crisp ed crisp edge. Okay, so we've got this here, and now this is where the flippy fold happens. So that goes in that way. This one goes that way. And we've got these two edges meeting at the back there. So let me do that again. We've got this whole piece where we joined everything here. So that's the joiner there. We've got the page attached here. And then what happens is this one folds in. It folds that way. Sorry. It folds that way. So the two spines meet. Those two. Um, the spines, the two, um, I think that's like a half inch spine, those two spines meet. And then this one folds in like that. Does that make sense? And then this is your closure, so that goes there. And I actually, you can either add the closure at this point, which means you will be covering the closure with your... Um, with your pattern paper but if you choose to have this outside then you add that after you've added your designer paper to the front so i'm going to open this again now it's flipping flopping all over the place so now we need to add um our little pockets and our flaps so let me just find the two i need the two big flaps. Let me see which number this is. Um, this is flap three. So there's two flap threes. And these come on the left hand side um, page on that end. Let me just find my bone folder quickly. So I'm going to score these. Okay, 
side and show those glories we may see today. I have to use my finger. I don't want it dirty in my fingers. So this one goes on the top end here. And you can see that the edges of the um, over here, this has been um, shaped to the album so it can fit on the end there. And then I'm going to just use my hands now. I don't know why this glue is missing so badly. Must be an A lock. And then this one comes at the at the bottom there and you just need to make sure that it's all nicely aligned so we've got the one flap there and the other flap there and what I did with this one I attached it here and I used it as a, a closure to close those two flaps down and then the next thing here is your little waterfall feature so you've got four of those I just want to score them quickly so that's one two I think I need to revert back to my other old camera where I can see what I'm doing on my desk while I'm sitting because this is really hard working blind not great at all okay so these ones they fit over here now I um, I choose to center mine on the page here between the two score lines and the one score line is round about here so just eyeball it if you want to measure and be pretending you can um, I generally just use the eye measurement so that goes down there one if you've never done a waterfall before they fit all nicely one below the other and what I do is I bring the one down so that I can make sure that they're kind of even and then I check underneath to see if we are aligned before I commit 100% and this is when um, wet glue is nice because it gives you that couple of seconds of forgiveness where you can actually um, move the things around a little bit so that's when wet glue is your friend okay and that's the third one going down now I've got the whole series of these um, albums and mini albums and card packs and stuff from iCraft and the plan is if this one works and this one comes out okay that I will do them regularly so if you did purchase them and you weren't sure how to put things together then you've got you can get an idea of how they work so that one goes there and we've got that and what I did was I just took an off cut but if you don't want to use the belly band here because this is the belly band that comes on the other side you can actually utilize this piece for that but I'm pretty sure you must have a bit of um, even if you use black you can um, make a little 
closure for this and what i do at this point is where's my pencil oh dear where did the pencil go oh here's one is i make a note for myself i write magnet at the top and then because i want to put a closure there i'll just write closure there so i remember what my plan was with this whole thing now let's see what do we have left here we've got the two pockets oh here's another flap i think this one also has to go there so oh, i missed out on one yes. so there's two for five let's put them out quickly um flap three three flaps and two flaps oh there's five yes five flaps so this is the fifth one nine yep here we go then we've got the one big pocket and the two small pockets now let me just check my sample quickly the two so they put the two small pockets here and you can choose where to put it i wouldn't recommend you putting it on this side because there's actually very little space here this just closes it snug there's no gap but here we've got like a half inch gap there which will be fine for the pocket so i'm just going to score these quickly and fold them now what i noticed about these is that they tend to overlap here and when i do things like this i prefer mine to be uh, flush i'm not a fan of um of the um of the the the, the, the what do you call this now that's much better i'm not a fan of these um the little margins for the pocket to overlap so i tend to just trim them off slightly now i don't go into that corner because then you're going to get the hole so i just i trim away from the corner just so that they can sit like next to each other as opposed to on top of each other i hope that makes sense It's a Sunday afternoon here and it's quiet, everybody's at their own houses. So I decided I'm going to take advantage of the quiet time. Let me see. Okay. So you can choose to have this um, right at the top, but I'm going to leave a little margin there. So if you want to, you can add some pattern paper. Of course, if you want to add a full sheet of pattern paper to this before you add your, um, your little pockets, you can. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we will just be doing a construction. Bitty, bitty, bitty. And the bone folder I'm using is a Teflon bone folder. It is from Tonic Studios. And it is absolutely brilliant. You don't get any shine on your papers when you score with this one. And I think it's amazing. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to leave the same basically the same kind of margin at the bottom like i have at the top and that's just for aesthetic purposes that's how my brain functions i feel that if i have more or less even margins things will look better now on the original um instructions the opening of this pocket is facing this way 
to the side but my brain tells me that I prefer to have things slide in and out from this side because there's no encumbrances here on this side we've got the, the waterfall and it's just too much going on so I prefer mine to go my openings on that side you can do whatever you want to okay so that's that and now we're going to flip this over on the other side because the one pocket comes here and the belly band goes over there now with regards to the belly band if you are wanting to put your pattern paper down first you first need to put your pattern paper and then add the belly band and the pocket i'm going to just um assemble quickly just to show you and then i can add pattern paper afterwards so I'll just join it because I don't mind to paper piece at all okay so this one goes here now you will notice that there's a lovely rounded edge there so you can actually take it down to that side but I prefer to have mine in the middle oh this one is also overlapping let me just trim that slightly So I'm centering, centering mine. I'm just going to make this flat so it's easier to work. I'm centering mine on the on the um, on the page, so I'm leaving more or less a similar gap on either side. And then what I did with mine like this was. I just put a piece of double-sided a piece of double-sided tape um, red tape so basically am I in shock just a piece like that it fits perfectly on that on that page so all I did was add add the red tape and then just eyeball this to be straight on that I'm going to open this up because it's easier to work when it's flat and more or less in the center yes Here we go that's it and that is the construction of the i keep forgetting the name of this album it is the shady fold album so oh yes let me show you how to put the the closure on so basically what you do is you put tape or adhesive I'll use liquid adhesive over there and it it should be um, your album should meet the score line I just want to raise it so I can show you so the score line is there that's the score line that we that's where it folds so the album should be about there and then you can just gently judge where your magnet needs to go maybe i should do that so we can see okay let's just do that quickly do i have magnets around here i have to find some hmm. i don't think i have any magnets on hand okay so that's that's glued down there 
and then I allow the album to pop up naturally so that this this little fold here fits nicely in there and you can see then you have a very nice um, a very nice finish because then all of that fits in between that gap there I just want to see if I have a magnet around here I usually have a few on my desk what's this yes 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 I have some I have some that's cool okay so how do I do my magnets there are many ways of attaching your magnet for me this is the method that works for me if you've got your own method and it's working for you perfection um i don't want to throw that away i'm going to use it again that's perfect then that is what you do but this one works for me so i've got my red tape on there with both magnets because these magnets work with a north and a south pole so if you don't get that right then they will repel now let's just join that nicely and then i'll just gently touch that and that's basically where i think my magnet should be i'm going to put a piece of red tape down I normally do this first. And it leads on its spot. And now I can cover that again with a piece. I always keep this. Ta da! I love that sound. And there we go. That is your shady fold album now you can put magnets in here as well and that will keep them together it's optional i'm not going to put magnets on now because um i still need to add pattern paper and stuff but there we go not so bad it took us about half an hour to put this together so you know if you need something that's really quick and easy and all the work has been done for you then some of iCraft ready to go templates might be the answer. Um, this is the little closure or uh, what do you call this now? The little pocket decor decoration, whatever it is, I have no idea. But it does work in there, you just have to trim it down slightly, or it can work in the in the back one like that I just didn't like it so I left it out um, but yeah you can use it and trim it down to fit on there there's lots of options but I didn't feel the need for it what I did use was this one and I folded that one on the score open up my baby again and that one I used here so you have two options you can use it just like this glue it down or you can add magnets to it and then it will it will magnetize like that you know so when you bring it down it will stick together that's the option and I think that's it otherwise this video is going to get too long I hope you guys will consider um, investing in a shady fold album from iCraft if you do this should be able to help you put it together and um, yeah that's it from me until next time see you in cyberspace bye now